Today on Pro Church Daily, we're talking about the $1,000 church video camera setup for 2018. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily. This is the show where in 10 minutes or less, you're going to get a daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift that we've seen in the last 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills. I'm joined, as always, by the boss man. It's Brady Shearer. And today, we're talking about the $1,000 church video camera setup for 2018. What's amazing about camera technology, Alex, is it continues to advance at a tremendous, fantastical pace, yeah. which is great for us as churches because it gives us the tech for an affordable price that decades past, even just years past, we never would right. have had the opportunity for. And so we want to share with you in this episode of Pro Church Daily, a $1,000 video camera setup complete with lens, audio, stabilization, awesome. and of course the camera body itself that is going to perform for you exceptionally well, especially if you are a beginner. Now, to make a disclaimer before we uh, dive into the actual rig, this camera is not going to serve you well if your primary purpose for video is live streaming right. or recording your services. I also don't think that that should be the primary form <laughs> of video that you as a church will be creating because you're just rebroadcasting an event that's happening in person. Right. I think that we should be using the platforms available to us, such as the second most popular website in the world, YouTube, yeah. ahead of Facebook, yeah. using these platforms to natively communicate through video rather than just rebroadcast what we're already right. doing live. And you get to tell a, a bigger story. Absolutely. Yeah. We're talking Instagram stories, social on Facebook, yeah. YouTube, you know, vlogging, behind the scenes, where all the attention is being paid nowadays. You need a camera to do it. If you're a beginner, this is the camera for you. I'm gonna lean over and pick up this camera. Awesome, yeah. For those of you watching on YouTube, you're gonna get your eyes on this camera setup that we have here. So, Braid, why don't you walk us through it? ProChurchDaily.com to find the video as well. You can so, see it. The camera itself is brand new Canon camera. It's a mirrorless camera. It's the Canon M50. And what's great about this camera in particular, Alex, is the autofocus. Yeah. And this is actually the main reason why we went with this camera. Because at the end of the day, if you are a beginner, you need to hit the basics when it comes to video production. We're talking yeah. exposure. We're talking about focus. Those are the two most important things. If your video is blown out and it's way too bright, or if it's underexposed, way too dark, yeah. it's going to be really difficult to save it virtually impossible. If your video is out of focus, not virtually, it will be impossible right. to rescue that video. And what's great about the Canon M50 is that its autofocus is one of the world's best. Oh, it's so good. So I can put this in the hand of anyone someone who doesn't know anything about video, and they can capture great video, which is what I want for our churches. If you're more of a pro advanced person, you know, wait till September, get the Blackmagic new uh, pocket cinema right. camera with 4K video, you know, huge dynamic range of 13 stops. You don't need the autofocus maybe as much, but when it comes to like the vlogging setup, that's what's also great about this camera. Yeah. You can pull the screen around and flip it so you can actually look at it, and you can see what you're recording if you're holding it out like this. Yeah. So that's the camera. The lens that we have on here is an optional lens. You can get the kit lens. It's a 15 to 45 millimeter. Right. Perfect, multi-purpose. You can zoom in, zoom out. What we have on here is the Canon 22 millimeter F2, which mm -hmm. is going to give you more of that blurred out background. Right. It's also a pancake lens. You can see how thin it is. Yeah, super light. Yeah, yeah. and what's great about this camera setup, another pro, is its compactness. It yeah. is incredibly light, incredibly small, and that's what mirrorless cameras offer you. Yeah, and we've been waiting to get our hands on this camera. You know, we were anticipating an announcement from, from Canon about a new mirrorless camera, hopefully with 4K, and they came out with this M50, and it was pretty exciting because they packed a lot into a really small body. It's super light, super portable. It's great for Insta stories. Uh, great for that vlogging kind of style where you're, you know, you're filming yourself holding that that um, Joby arm that we're going to get into in a second. Um, so we've been super impressed with this camera. We love the Canon color science. It truly is the best of the best. And uh, yeah, so th this camera has been everything that that we hoped it would be. And I think it's perfect for churches. The amount of attention being paid on social media right now is insane. We're mm -hmm. talking Facebook. We're talking Instagram. Yeah. We're also talking YouTube. 95% of Gen Z uses YouTube actively. That's and crazy. And 50% say they could not live without it. <laughs> yes, like life would just end. This is the type of camera <laughs> yeah. that's going to create the type of content for those platforms. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for cinema, if you're looking for like creating a, a you know a cinematic story, maybe you want to go with something different. But for so many churches, this is going to be the perfect starting point. The camera with the kit lens is about $900. Okay. Let's get to the audio. The audio right we have here, it's the Rode Video Micro Compact on-camera microphone. Yeah. There are a number of different Rode mics that will go on top of your camera. 
and plugged directly into your camera, so your audio is being recorded directly into your camera on the actual video files track, which is great. What's great about this one is that the size of this camera matches, or sorry, the size of this mic matches the size of the camera. If you had the uh, Rode VideoMic Pro or something bigger, it would be a lot larger and longer than the camera body itself, and so the size of this mic matches the size of the camera. The price is also amazing yeah 59 dollars. yeah and this camera has like a standard hot shoe attachment at the top so you really could mount any mic you wanted to on top of here i was surprised with how small this is but also and light so like you said it matches that camera and doesn't throw the balance off but also the great sound quality you're getting out of a mic for 59 dollars it's really impressive yep so that leaves us with the final thing that we need to talk about stabilization we love i love the joby yeah. gorilla pod that's what this thing is right here uh, it's got these three legged like a regular tripod but it's completely manipulatable yeah so you can move it you can change it you can manipulate it in whatever direction that you want it's perfect for kind of holding out in front of you yeah and uh so this is also a 50 dollar tripod yeah and so together you've got a thousand dollar setup you've got the camera body You've got audio, you've got the lens, you've got the stabilization. Let's briefly talk, Alex, about the pros and cons of a rig like this. Okay. The pros, we talked about the autofocus. For me, that's the reason we went with this camera. Yeah. It's not the most uh, flexible camera when it comes to its capabilities, but the autofocus and the colors are very, very good. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it has auto exposure, and that's going to give you the ability to capture great looking video, always in focus, if you are a beginner. Right. This camera. You do not need to know basically anything. Right. As long as you can use a phone like a camera on your phone and just point at whatever yeah. you want to capture, you can do this. Yeah. Another pro of this is that it looks great out of the box, ready to go. Also, it has image stabilization mm-hmm. built into the camera, which is great because in the past we've used video cameras that have had great autofocus, but then when you hold it on a gorilla pod like this and you're holding it out in front of you, every single shape yeah. is like magnified yeah. and you get this jello cam look, it's not great. We noticed the same thing with this camera, and then we turned on the image stabilization within the camera. It's not lens image stabilization. It's five axis in the camera itself, so whatever lens you put on, it's gonna work with it, and suddenly all those shakes were a lot smoother, and they weren't distracting with the final video. Yeah, what about the cons? Let's talk about the cons. It does shoot 4K. Mm -hmm. You will not really want to use the 4K. Wow. When you turn on 4K on this camera, the autofocus sucks. And it crops in a great deal. So yeah. if you have a 20 millimeter lens now, I don't know the exact crop, but you know it's like a 2X crop, let's say. Now your 20 mil is a 40 mil, yeah. and now you're like holding it out like crazy trying yeah. to capture. It's just not great. That might sound like a huge con, but when we're talking about Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, the difference between 1080 and 4K is negligible. Right. We shoot in 4K, what, maybe 5% of our audience actually uses that. Right. We're not at a place where the difference between 2080 and 4K is gonna make a difference. And in your post-production workflow, 1080 is gonna be so much more friendly yeah. and easy to use than 4K. So that might sound bad at first, but it's just really not that big of a deal when it comes to practicality. Exactly. Let's talk about some other cons. This is a mirrorless camera from Canon, which means your lens choices are limited. Mm-hmm. So Canon is just getting into the mirrorless game when it comes to cameras, which means all of those amazing lenses that you know and love from Canon, you can use them on a camera like this, but you will need an adapter, yeah. and maybe the autofocus begins to suffer when you do that. We went with the native lenses. You just gotta work within the limitations. Right. Not a deal breaker, but it's something to be aware of. Yep. Final thing we mentioned, this is not a pro cinema camera. If you're looking to create cinematic stuff, you can do this, but it's not gonna even get close to the image quality of even a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema version two coming out in September. Right. It's you know, $1,300 body only, that's no audio, no lens. But if you're looking for something more cinematic, you know, we shoot with the Ursa Mini. That's what we're shooting with right now. We shoot our drone has, uh, you know, the X5X camera Mm -hmm. on it. You know, that's 15, 13 stops at dynamic range, 4K, flat color profile. This really isn't that, but also you're not really using it for that purpose. So in my mind, just something to be aware of, not even necessarily a con. Yeah, for the price point, I, I'm not sure that you could build a better rig for vlogging style, for Insta story style, for, for YouTube videos, for your church. I think I think this is the solution, and it's not just because I'm partial to Canon, but I really do think- And you I, are, but I I'm am, not. Absolutely, I am, but, um, but at, at the price point, I really think this is a great setup. And like you said, it's pretty much foolproof. You can you can do a, a lot of stuff um, with, with full manual for somebody who knows what they're doing. Uh, that that camera packs a big punch, but for a beginner, for a volunteer who's not, yeah. who doesn't know a whole lot about video, but your church knows 
knows that you need to get some videos online, this camera is perfect for you and is gonna make things pretty easy and look great. That'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Daily. See you in another one. Hey, thanks for watching this video. We appreciate it. You know what else we appreciate? Subscriptions. Subscribe to this channel so you never miss another video. And did you like this video? Because if you did, why don't you let us know by giving the like button a smash. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in another one.